Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and Happy New Year. I hope you guys have had a lovely Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm really sorry that I've been away for so long. I've had some personal things I've been dealing with, but yeah, I'm gonna get into this with my new Let's Play, and it's Dragon Ball Legends. I was thinking of starting off with some like story mode stuff, but I might do that like later on because my phone's pretty um <laughs> I don't have loads of memory on it so yeah but I'm gonna do some pvp matches to start off because I think that's more interesting than just the story mode because whenever you go against like people online it's never the same and I think you guys would probably like that and you guys have been requesting on discord that um I play like Dragon Ball Legends so yeah I'm gonna record some pvp matches so just getting it on now. Okay, let's get into some rating matches. It'll also be a good way to increase my season score by the end of the season to get some more like extra summons as rewards. Okay, so this guy has some strong characters. I haven't got all the items to soul boost all my characters, so some of my characters can't get any XP to get to max level yet because <laughs> I didn't realize the cap went up to 2000 but I've got my 18 up to max level my green one and my pan's getting there but though my pan and my green 18 the only characters that have um got the items and have been able to do a soul boost so yeah but let, let's get into this match hey, like okay I'm gonna switch into yellow 18 Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Interesting. Hey, I won. That was lucky. I'm gonna get in some extra damage with those punches. Uh oh. I'm fighting like I'm against computers. This is a person I'm fighting against. That wasn't very good, but I was lucky to win that. Okay, that's Goku down. Uh oh, it's Broly. That's not good. I'll switch into Pan Chan because she's amazing. This should connect. Hopefully, we can get this rising rush off. And if we do, we've nearly won this match. Hey, we did it. Goodbye, Broly. Your movie doesn't matter in this PvP match. I've had some, um, rosé, by the way. <laughs> so I might be a little more mouthy than I normally am in my videos. My reactions. Hey, we won the match. Yeah, don't push it. I want to make some more reaction videos soon, but the problem I have is YouTube isn't monetizing me, so if you guys any, have any advice on what other content I can make, which doesn't use other people's videos, that'd be great. If I get more, if I could get monetized, that'd be great, but yeah, I think Let's Plays are a good way to go. That's not what I'm going to be doing all the time, but it's fun to do Let's Plays because, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. Let's play as a good. Also, Dragon Ball Legends is a really good game, so. Yeah, I've got a drink. <laughs> but yeah, it's Friday. i got to enjoy myself. Okay, I'll switch into green 18. Because it has a color advantage. Element factor. The game just told me the proper way to say it. Okay, this is good damage. I'm just going to keep going with that. We can take a little bit of damage, but if someone's fighting, like, hitting you with all their special attacks at a type disadvantage, it does, like, a quarter of the damage, I think. That's what I'm guessing, because it doesn't do much damage. That's his Goku down. Uh-oh, Raditz. We're still at an advantage, though, so I wouldn't, I'm not too worried. Yeah, yeah, I dodged it. Come 
If you're new to Legends, um, something I would recommend is when you're fighting someone in PvP, you want to do your best to get to the Rising Rush. You want to get all the seven Dragon Balls as fast as possible. Because you can actually use Rising Rush more than once per battle as long as you meet the requirements of all the Dragon Balls. So, yeah, as you see now, I'm kicking his butt because Rising Rush is epic. So try and fight with type advantages and try and get out of disadvantages and then try and get um, the Dragon Balls. It's a good tactic. And if they rush at you, try and rush back so you can try and stop the damage. I literally just won that. I was lucky there. But now I can switch into my green A team with the advantage and go in for the win. That's game over. See? It works. Yeah, don't push it. But I'm not the best at Legends, but I know the basics. And I know that helps you get up through the early ranks, at least. If you want some golden adventures, or just to get some more extra t like rewards at the end of the season, it's a really easy way to get past like people who are like kind of equal to your power. Because if you have the type advantage, you're most likely you win. Okay, this guy looks like he has more powerful people than me. Like characters. So hopefully I can win this. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to um, win this battle. But if you're roughly equal power, like a little luck and some skill can get you through a battle. To get you to win. So I'll switch to green instantly because... I she has an advantage, my green 18. She's also my strongest character. Okay, this Barlock's really messing me up. Yeah, I made a bad play there. I accidentally clicked the NG instead of the physical attack, which gave me an extra Dragon Ball. Uh-oh, it's Barlock's special move. The green 18 extreme is really good because she can heal herself. But yeah, that should be the end for Bardock with this. I'm pretty good at st strategizing. Like, I couldn't use a really good attack there, so I used the opening to hit, hit them with a, like, normal punch. Hope they can beat this. Yay, I got nearly a max. That was good. This pan is really good at physical attacks. So I'm going to focus on that, if I can. This is looking good for me, actually. Because now I've connected that, I can hit them with the Rising Rush. If this hits, I pretty much win. Oh, he stopped me. Interesting. Strike of Fury, huh? Fury's not going to help when you're at a type disadvantage. It's going to help a little bit, but not enough. Uh-oh. That might help him a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind the... Um oh, I blocked it. <laughs> what the? Game over, Goku. I'm going to end this match right now. Goodbye. There you go. I won. Now do you see how strong I am? But yeah, Legends is interesting. It's not just blind punching and attacking. You gotta know when to dodge. But yeah, I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try doing one more PvP match. Hopefully my memory will handle it. Okay, th six purples. Interesting. I think I know what their favourite colour is. Their favourite attribute, should I say. I believe purple's intellect, I think. I think red's power. And that's all I know. 
But yeah, hopefully I picked a color that's good against purple. <laughs> if I didn't, it's not going to be good. Okay, yellow is good against purple. Okay. I know red's good against yellow. <laughs> that's all I know. Yay, I did that. Basically, a good tip I can say on Legends is basically just use every advantage you, you get. Just make the most out of everything. I know in Let's Plays, like, most people don't talk too much, so I thought... So I was just thinking that if I talk during my gameplays, it won't be boring. But I know you can talk too much. But I think um, most people watch Legends gameplay for the combat, so... If I talk as well, it just makes it a lot more entertaining, I think. Oh, that was good. The downside to using one colour, though, apart from the memes, is that um, if someone's got an advantage, like, you can't switch into something which is strong against the thing you're weak to, if that makes sense. So it's bad to use one colour, like, in, on a strategic level. Yeah, this Goku's toast. Dead. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, not sorry. That's all I've got to say. If this hits, it's game over. Yay, I win. That was an easy match, just because you used one colour. But if you're using it for the memes, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, what a fall. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed part one of this um, Let's Play. I'm just going to um, make my phone record this <laughs> gameplay. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is my first kind of Let's Play, so let me know how it went. I'm pretty sure because I've had a little alcohol, I've, I've talked a little too much, and Krillin said I'm a bit of a chatterbox, because normally I'm quite quiet, but, you know. When Friday is a thing... And you want to do a let's play. <laughs> Rosé seems like the way to go. But anyway. If you enjoyed this hit the like button. Comment on other things you want me to play on the phone. And react to. And also tell me other ways I can actually improve. Because. Although a lot of YouTubers say that. They're like perfect. I'm definitely not. And yeah. Improvement's important. So yeah. I hope you guys have had a lovely new year. And also. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And don't forget everyone, subscribe to me because I'm definitely 18.